Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to count fractions that are beyond or more than a whole. One whole means the entire shape or all of an object. How do we count fractions that are beyond or more than a whole? First, let us look at how to name the fraction of objects that are more than one whole. Here we have two pizzas. Each pizza is cut or partitioned into four slices. When aiming a fraction beyond a whole, we look at one whole to name the fraction. Because this pizza and the other pizza are both cut into four slices each, we can say that these two pizzas are partitioned into fourths. Let's look at another example of how to name fractions beyond one whole. Here we have three cookies. Each cookie is cut or partitioned into six slices. When aiming a fraction beyond or more than a whole, we look at one figure or object to name the fraction. Because this whole is partitioned into sixths, and the other cookies are also partitioned into six slices, we can say that these cookies are sixths. What is the name of the fraction for these donuts? To name the fraction, we need to first see how many parts each donut has been partitioned or divided into. One, two, three, four, five. Each donut is cut or partitioned into five slices each. When naming a fraction beyond or more than a whole, we look at one donut or object to name the fraction. Because this donut is partitioned into fifths, and the other donuts are also partitioned into fifths, we can name the fraction for these donuts as fifths. Now that we know how to name the fraction of objects beyond a whole, we are going to determine the numerator and denominator of objects that are more than one whole. Let's look at this example. The two shapes represent a fraction. What is the fraction of the shaded parts? First, let us determine the denominator of the fraction. To determine the denominator of the fraction, we need to count how many parts the squares are partitioned or divided into. 1, 2, 3, 4. Since each square has 4 pieces, the number 4 goes in the denominator. Remember that to name the fraction of objects beyond or more than one whole, we look at how many parts one shape or object is partitioned into. Now to determine or figure out the numerator, we are going to count the total pieces or parts that are shaded. One, two, three, four, five. Since there are a total of five pieces or parts that are shaded, the number five goes in the numerator because it represents the parts shaded. So the fraction for the shaded parts in this question is five-fourths. Let's look at this example. The three shapes represent a fraction. What is a fraction of the shaded parts? First, let us determine the denominator of the fraction. To determine the denominator of the fraction, we need to count how many parts the shape or octagons are partitioned into. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Since each octagon has eight pieces, the number eight goes in the denominator. Remember that to name the fraction of objects beyond or more than one whole, we look at how many parts one shape or object is partitioned into. That number will be the denominator. Now we are going to determine or figure out the numerator. When we figure out the numerator, we are counting all of the pieces that are shaded, including those that are in other octagons. So let's start counting. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So there are a total of eighteen pieces or parts that are shaded. The number eighteen goes in the numerator because it represents the total number of pieces or parts shaded in all of the objects. The fraction for the shaded parts is 18 eighths. Now let's look at this example. The three shapes represent a fraction. What is the fraction of the shaded parts? To figure out the fraction, we would first need to determine or figure out the denominator. To figure out or determine the denominator of the fraction, we need to count how many parts the stars are partitioned or divided into. One, two. Since each star has two pieces, the number two goes in the denominator. Remember that to name the fraction of objects beyond or more than one whole, we look at how many parts one shape or object is partitioned into. That number goes in the denominator. Now we are going to determine or figure out the numerator. To do that, we are going to count all of the number of pieces that are shaded. It doesn't matter if it's in one shape or in the other. All of the pieces need to be counted together. One, two, three, four, five. Since there are a total of five pieces or parts that are shaded all together, the number five goes in the numerator because it represents the total number of parts shaded. The fraction for the shaded parts is five halves. We learned how to count fractions beyond or more than one whole. The denominator represents the number of parts one whole shape is partitioned or divided into. The numerator represents the number of total parts that are shaded in all of the figures. To read or write a fraction, start with the numerator first. Five, and then the denominator. Since the denominator is four, we say the fraction name is fourths. So the fraction would be five fourths. Thanks everyone, have a wonderful day.